Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebRoad.com, and today I'm really happy to take another look with you at a Webby Award winner, a 2017 Webby Award winner in the art category. So a really talented team of people put together this website, and it showcases the famous painting by Dutch painter Hieronymus Bosch. And I'm really happy to take a look in here with you at the simple elegance of this website. Uh, makes it so that a painting that can be housed in Madrid for the last hundred years about um, is something that you can go ahead from your desktop in your office or your bedroom and you can go ahead and take a great look at this painting, learn a lot about it in a very interactive and immersive um, online experience. So let's take a look now. You'll find it at tunderlustin Bosch. .ntr.nl. So that's a mouthful, but you can just check out the link here, you can see it. So when you first land on the website, you're going to find this pop up window where it's asking you to choose your experience. So the first time you land on the website, you might go ahead and start the tour. So let's take a look at what that looks like now. So we hit the start the tour button. Cool. Very elegant website with just a header. In menu. the late Middle Ages, a master painter lived in the south of the Netherlands. It was a pivotal period in European history. Explorers sailed the oceans of the world in search of new lands. So let's pause the narration, which is awesome. That narration will occur throughout the entire tour. There's an extra story button for a lot of these different frames where you can read more about that frame. And then you can see there's 15 stops on this tour. So this is a guided tour, a guided interactive tour of this painting. So any art students know a lot about this painting. It's in stark uh, contrast with the exterior. You know, it's 220 centimeters um, oil on cedar, oil on um, wood plant, uh, wood uh, board. So, so the website is amazing. I don't want to stop the tour. Uh, I mean, I don't want to take you through the entire tour because it's really something that I think you should take a look at. But here is the painting. I mean, here's the entire, here's the painting in its entirety available to us in this online interactive experience. So you can see that as you're flipping through these frames, it's just going to take in you the background of through Bosch's different, landscape, um, different parts of the painting and animals. explain them, kind of like how Some a college professor might explain it, telling you a little bit about the, the story. And it's young, so, which appear to really enter cool the stuff. painting from the right. Um, so let's stop the animals tour. Like the uh, let's leave the tour and let's just explore the painting freely, which I think is the most powerful function of this website. Um, here we're looking at the website. I mean, I'm sorry, here we're looking at the painting. It's a beautiful painting. And we have the ability to get all the way in. We can zoom in with our scroller mouse and we can get all the way into this painting in high definition to the point where we can actually see the brush strokes. And listen to the cool music that follows you around the painting and the different parts of the painting. So we can actually see Bosch's brush strokes. We get so close to the painting here. It's so high definition. Look at this. I'm looking at the actual cracks in the oil paint on the wood panel. It's beautiful. See how deep we can actually get. I mean, we're looking at one of the most famous paintings in the world, arguably, at brush strokes. These birds are just, you can see, they're just t two brush strokes each. The rendering is just beautiful. And look at how deep I'm going. I don't know how much deeper I'd want to even go. It's just amazing. I'm still going. And I mean, I'm looking at a very, very, very close up view of those birds, which is just beautiful. And that's just to give you an example of how much detail you're gonna find on this website. And uh, we could talk a little bit about the technology that they're using to display that stuff, but it's just wonderful. So where you see these little ribbons, it's information about that part of the painting. And let's see, let's see what they have to say about this part of the painting. Amidst the pastoral landscape, we may be surprised to find scenes that represent the darker sides of nature. A lion devouring a young deer and various animals locked in struggle. In the 15th and 16th centuries, people tried to so answer. So you can see what I mean, uh, that there's going to be little ribbons across the whole painting here where you can learn more about it. 
about that section of the painting. It's really just an awesome resource for you. And the technology now to be able to get so intimate with a painting like this from over, you know, I don't know, 5,000, I don't know how far away we are, 4,000, 5,000 miles away from Madrid, it's just amazing. It really is amazing. I want to show you how the music shifts when you get into some of the different emotions. You hear how that music shifts? Great job creating the emotion there. A group of lost souls is being squashed by a pair of huge ears with a knife wedged between them. An army is marching towards the oversized. While he talks about that, I can get in here and I can get into the details of this painting and really see. But the similarity to a male sexual organ. And as an art student, I can tell you. Seeing these the brush strokes is just blood oozing amazing. From it. It's just so inspiring. The knife bears a symbol. A painting that, that you like study your whole life and now you can get really, you can really side. get in there and you can really this see what how he created keeps returning in these Bosch's figures. Works. It tells us that Bosch liked to include objects from his native city in the transparency paintings. of that feather. In the 15th and so 16th cool. centuries, Den Bosch had a thriving knife. So let's go to the built with profile of this website and let's just quickly see how they build it. Um, so ASP.net and a combination of HTML5, cascade, cascading style sheets is just how they're going to create those s ribbons that, are cre that have the text and the content on them so they all look the same. That's going to be CSS. So very elegant JavaScript, of course, very elegant, very beautiful very well put together website. So let's give a shout out to the people who deserve it. Um, Fabrique out of Netherlands, they had a big hand in the design of this website. Good job you guys. Q42, these are software developers out of Amsterdam. Uh, they have an office in Mountain View. Very powerful team. Very powerful team of people who can create very elegant, slick software for small and large uh, businesses. And then the Peter Van Heisty Film and TV Company, they had a big hand also. I would say they probably had something to do with the selection of that audio that sounded so great. Cool. So you guys, thanks so much for coming back. It was so fun to show you the 2017 Webby Award winner in the art category. Um, another big shout out to Fabrique, uh, Q42, and the Peter Van Heisten Film and TV Company. Uh, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook and LinkedIn, and you can check me out on Twitter. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.